we're going to do a quick video here today on a, a hummingbird. This right here is a helix with uh, this right here is actually a helix uh, 12 plus mega with the down imaging, side imaging, GPS, chirp, all that on here. But if you have one, uh, a helix of any kind, and uh, also the old 1098s, uh, I was getting a bite. 898s and such as that i know everybody's asking how do you set them how what is your numbers on what's the sensitivity what's the contrast guys i'm going to show you the very simplest way that i know how so you'll be able to set your unit and try to get it tuned in now every time i get on a different body of water it's according to the water clarity or whatever it may be i may fool with my settings just a little bit to try to get things tuned in. Now, what I've got here in this unit, I've got this unit pulled up and I just got my sonar on and here's my down imaging and here's my side imaging. And what I'm gonna do right now is just go back to the sonar and we can see that there's some, there's a few fish down here. <laughs> Be good if we can get one of them to bite. And you can see them here. So this is what we do. I got this one image pulled up and uh, if you happen to have a split screen, when you pull it up, you either want to go to one side or the other, but if you got this unit, once you hit menu, I'm going to hit it one time, and look right here, you're going to see sensitivity. And you can start to move it. Watch what happens when I start to move sensitivity, and watch ha what happens when I start to increase it. And I'm going to leave it right along in there. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to do, you look right here and you can see where it says up and down. I want to fool with the contrast some. So if I go this way with the contrast, you can see what starts to happen. And I'm going to pull it back up. I like the way you can just keep going with it. I like the way it looks right along in there. And that's what I'm going to leave on there. I know everybody's got their preferences of how they do it. Now I can exit out of that. I can look here. Now I also see on my down imaging. Look right here. That looks like that's probably a, a big old gar spoon bill. We just run that little cursor over there, hit the plus, and look right there. That's probably a spoon bill. If you can look really, really good, that looks about what that is. Or a mighty big gar one. Uh Whatever it is, it's pretty good size. And we can just exit out of that. But now I do the same thing on it. Uh, we can just hit menu, go to our down sensitivity. You will see what happens as we start to go up with it. You see the brightness of it start to change as we go down. You see what begins to happen. If you go down far enough, it gets really, really dark. That's minus 10. But I'm going to come up and I'm going to watch these dots and I'm going to get it. I like the way it's starting to look right along in there. And we're going to leave it right there. Now I'm going to just hit, see right here where it says up and down. Let's go down and let's go to the enhance. Now look right here. Let's go to the contrast. Guys, look right here at, the, look right here at these images. Now the more we... Decrease the contrast. You can see what starts to happen. We're going to have a lot of uh, clutter. What's look right here, guys? These right here, I would say, is probably a spoonbill. And there's a lot of spoonbill in here. I like a little. I like it right along in there. And I'm just going to exit out. It's that simple. Look right here. There's a fish laying right there. You can see his shadow there. But it's just that simple. All right, here's a video that I want to put up on how to set the uh, the settings on your unit. This is the way I like to do mine. You can see this stuff here on the side. We got it on side imaging, and we got it run out about 75 foot, and you can see a lot of trash in here. If you hit the menu, once you have this one screen, uh, not a split screen, but just a one screen up, whether it's side imaging, uh, your sonar, or down imaging, once we go back to this, hit this menu one time, 
and you're gonna come down to sensitivity. And watch as I move the sensitivity, you're gonna be able to see if the picture gets clearer or if it gets fuzzier is what I call it. And I'm gonna just bring it back to what I like to look at. And uh, I will tell this, I, you uh, on a lot of things, people's always asking for the settings. Now you can see over here, it's showing up pretty clear. This is a bank, it comes right up. Uh, I mean, this, the bank is just sitting right over there. But look, these things is getting pretty clear. Look right here. You can start to see little specks show up. Just fool with it. Uh, move your settings. Move your sensitivity. Uh, you see what's going on? Once you get that, you can drop down uh, and go to your contrast. Start moving your contrast a little bit. And you're going to see that the image starts to brighten up or darken up. And put it where you think it's the clearest at and what you can see the best. And when you get there, stop. I do that on sonar. I do it on side imaging. I do it on down imaging. Every time I get on a new body of water, I know a lot of people are so focused. What is your sensitivity on? What is your contrast on? And I, I'm right, I don't really pay much attention to what it's set on. I'll come on the water, I set it up. Once I pull it up, I start getting it till it starts to tune in for I like it. It's not really difficult. Uh, if you're gonna fool with it, the best I can tell you, everybody's wanting to know how, how to run the unit. It's pretty simple. Them right there steps are really, really easy. You're dealing with your side imaging some. Find where there's some, you know that there's some kind of treetops or something that's coming in the water. Slow down when you go by them. I mean like three, two to three miles an hour and watch your side imaging and go to your uh, sensitivity, go to your contrast, start to play with a little bit till you get them clear. And don't be afraid to go there and hit them buttons and go one way or the other till you start to get it the clearest possible image that you can get. That's the way you're going to be able to learn how to run this unit. And you see the images that we have up here with the ones we done a while ago. Um, I would suspect them right there, spoon bill that's probably in there. Look right here, guys. You can see the shad. We just went over a school of shad that's in here. There's two different schools right there, uh, right below us. So uh, I tell people all the time, when we get to looking for shad, they hard to hide from me. I can throw that uh, side imaging up. If they're in schools, we're going to be able to find them. So don't be afraid to fool with your uh, sensitivity, contrast. Move it a little bit till you get to get that image that you're looking for. And every time that you go on a different body of water, I know everybody has got their own preference. But if I go on a different body of water that is clearer than what I'm fishing today or it's going to be muddier, I do the same thing. I just reach up there as I start scanning and I just piddle with my uh, sensitivity and contrast to I can start to get the images clear as I can possibly get them. I hope this is some helpful information to you. God bless you and have a great day.